Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, happy Saturday. I am so happy today because guess what? My husband is finally coming home. He just hit the road maybe like 20 minutes ago. He is on his way home from Wyoming. It has been the longest month or I don't even know exactly how long, like a month or so long. It's just been long. I have missed him so much, so I'm just so happy this morning, but it is quite a drive, so today is Saturday, it is the morning time, he's not gonna get here today, so he's gonna get here tomorrow, Sunday, like I think early, early morning, um, they're gonna drive straight through, and I'm just so excited, finally, finally he's coming back home. So, but this morning I am getting my morning started. It is officially the first day of summer. My kids are off from school. They got off yesterday. And yeah, we are just feeling happy and good. I'm excited. I'm excited to get my day started. I'm gonna be here at home today. I'm not gonna do much. I just need to get my house. I mean, it's clean, but you know, my husband's coming home, so we gotta we gotta clean up some stuff and make it look like we had everything in order while he was gone, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm just gonna be here though, just getting the house prepared for his home when he comes home and make sure everything is nice and clean for him so he can relax because that is going to be a long drive back. So yeah, but we are going to make some breakfast this morning. We are doing a what I in a day keto, of course. I'm gonna be making some breakfast, have a snack and some dinner today. Um, I did earlier when I woke up, I got kind of ready just, you know, so I can look decent, but um, I took pictures. So when my husband left for work, I wanted to see how much progress that I can make while he was gone since I am, um, working out like I have a workout schedule while he was gone and I have just been trying my hardest to make progress so I did lose a few pounds y'all know I have been I have been fluctuating 143 144 143 144 every single day but I did lose about five pounds while he was gone I think it was like four to five pounds not much I have lost a lot of weight already but I did take pictures while he was gone and they will pop up right here for y'all to look at and I will post them in my community page as well and as you can see I did make progress my stomach went down everything slimmed down even though I did only lose a, a few pounds I think I look much better. I am getting there. Yes, I do have a surgical scar on my stomach. That's what y'all see in the picture. I did have my appendix removed a long time ago when I first had my first son. And it was really, really bad to where like I was on the verge of dying. So they had to like hurry up and open me up. Um, so that's why I have a big scar on my stomach. And hopefully that goes away the more weight I lose. I just want it to slim down to where it just looks flat. Um, but that's, you know, what I've been working on. Um, but I had, I made good progress, I think. I, my stomach went down, my legs went down, everything just looks better. So I think I did awesome making progress while he was gone. That was one of my goals. I just wanted to see how much progress I could make while he was at work and just work on me. I've been working out. So hopefully y'all will see new, more pictures later on where I'm more toned since I have been lifting weights. Maybe we can do like a before and after because I have muscle, but of course, when you look at me, you can't like like completely tell because I'm still like on my journey it takes months this is like months of progress this is not something that's just gonna happen overnight it's a lot of work a lot of dedication so that's what I'm pushing towards so hopefully in a few months y'all will see these pictures again and y'all will see me toned and muscled out and fit <laughs> So we getting there. We we making progress though. I'm excited. I'm happy how much progress I made while he was gone and I feel really good. But let's get this day started, right? That's what y'all are here for. Let's do a keto what did I eat in a day. Let me show y'all what I'm going to be having for breakfast. Today I am going to making a keto McGriddle. I just wanted something delicious and savory. I have been craving it. I don't know why, I just been wanting like a good breakfast sandwich. I do have a separate video on this recipe. It will pop up at the end of this video for you to click on if you do wanna go ahead and save the separate video recipe. But let's get started. Okay, to get started on the chaffle part or like the bread part, this is what I'm going to be using. 
So you're gonna need like a little mini waffle maker. Now you could totally use this like on a griddle pan and just make them into circles, but I just find this easier to make it in the waffle maker. You're gonna want some mozzarella cheese, some sugar-free syrup of your choice. I've been using this Birch Benders Monk Fruit Syrup. Um, keto friendly one net carb. I like it because it is sweetened with monk fruit. You could use sugar-free syrup But just know that it does have hidden ingredients, but I have used it along my journey when I first started I have just been cleaning up things lately. So this is why I use this one. It's really good It's a little bit more watery though You're gonna want some baking powder for our flour replacement. We're going with well, uh, Sorry guys, we're going in with almond flour and some eggs now for the insides, of course we're going in with eggs, but I'm gonna be using this sliced cheese. Usually I like to put American cheese, but it's not the best for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this natural cheese, Kobe Jack cheese by Sar Sar Sargento. There you go, I said it right, cause I can never say stuff, okay. And then we're gonna be using these pork sausage patties that I did get from Walmart in the frozen section. We're just gonna heat it through. We're gonna go ahead and plug in my mini waffle maker. You see how small this thing is? I love it. And we're just gonna start heating this through and then making the batter. Okay, you're gonna take a mixing bowl for our batter. You are going to crack in four large eggs. Let me just move y'all closer. Four large eggs. And if y'all hear my kids, I apologize. But, you know, all of them are home and they are boys and they are all going crazy over there playing and doing all kinds of stuff. Okay, we got four large eggs in there. Next, you want to get your almond flour replacement. For our almond flour, you're going to put two tablespoons. Baking powder, you're going to put one teaspoon. Then of course, a McGriddle does have the syrup flavoring. McGriddles used to be like my jam. Those are my favorite things to get at McDonald's back in the day. They are so good. So I love that I can make them healthier and keto friendly. For our syrup, you are going to add in three tablespoons. Be careful with the syrup if you are using it because if it falls out, it goes everywhere because I did it the last time. <laughs> Okay, three tablespoons. Then the mozzarella cheese, I usually just add like a pinch to this because we're gonna put more down in a little bit. So like, just like that, like maybe like one fourth cup. Then you're gonna take a whisk and go ahead and whisk everything together. And this is going to be our batter. This does make more than one. I am making some for my son as well. Or you can just make them ahead of time and you can freeze them. But you have to get like special containers to freeze them so they don't get all nasty. Make sure you wrap them like in parchment paper or stuff like that or some um, plastic wrap. Or you can just keep them in the fridge. You don't have to freeze them for the week. I am just heating through my sausage patties. I wanna be eating one, but I'm making some for my kids as well, like I said. So these, I love these because they're nice and big. And yeah, I got these at Walmart. Kroger has some good ones as well. Let's go ahead and start making our chaffles or our McGriddle, you know what I mean, our McGriddle chaffles. So usually I just take a tablespoon and I kind of pour it on here so it doesn't go everywhere. Oh no, I forgot to lay down a layer of cheese. It's okay, I'll give this into my son. So before you put this, if you want this nice and crispy, you could put down a layer of mozzarella cheese before you put the batter. I'll show y'all here in a minute. I'll just make this one like this. Oh, I love the smell of sausage in the morning, especially when it's already a good day because we are in happy mood. Oh, oh, looks good. Oh guys, I got a new pan set. I will show y'all here in a minute. Cause these, this one's good, but there's certain ones that are already sticking, so I have to get rid of them. Okay, so this waffle is ready. I'm gonna take this one out. And it should look something like this. It should be nice and crispy. Put this one to the side. Now, if you want a crispy layer on the outside, this is what I usually do. I get the, the mozzarella cheese and I sprinkle it right on top of the waffle iron. You don't need too much. I'm gonna let that sit for a quick second. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and pour over my batter. And this is just going to give you a nice crispy outside texture. Now for my eggs, I'm putting two eggs in here. I cracked them in a bowl. I added a splash of heavy whipping cream with some salt and pepper. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix these up because we're gonna make like a folded egg. Now you can add in extra butter, but I think this is good because it has the leftover grease from the sausage. We're gonna pour in our egg. Go ahead and put some kind of lid on it so it can cook through, but keep it on a low. And you're gonna wanna let the top cook because we're gonna fold it. Okay, this one is done and I'll show y'all what it looks like. You see how it has that nice crispy outer layer? This is what I like. So I'm just gonna make all my breads until the batter is gone and we'll go ahead and assemble. Okay, so once your egg is kind of set, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. You can see like it's still kind of runny. Oh, I did it. Okay, I'm gonna let that egg cook off and then we're just gonna fold it here. So to get it to hold together like this, the heavy whipping cream helps a lot. So I highly recommend heavy whipping cream. You don't need much. You just need like a splash or a tablespoon. Okay, once it's cooked, we're going to take one in. It's hard to do this with one hand, but it's okay. Just like that. And then you fold again and you have yourself a nice folded egg for our McGriddle. Okay, I'm about to start assembling my sandwich. I got three folded eggs right here for my kids and for me. And I put the slice of cheese on top when it was done just so it can get nice and melted. All right, y'all. Here is my first meal of the day. We got our keto McGriddle here with our two eggs, our cheese, our sausage. You could definitely use one egg, but I wanted to get nice and full till dinner. So I went ahead and went in with two. But the bread is nice and soft. It's delicious. Y'all definitely give this a try. Y'all could drizzle some more syrup on top if you'd like or just dip it in there. But this is definitely going to fill me up and hit the spot. So y'all give this recipe a try and I hope y'all enjoy it. And if y'all do, comment below how y'all liked it. And I'm just going to sit down and enjoy my breakfast. Is it good? <laughs> Say hi. Are we gonna join our breakfast? Mm. Mm. All right, guys. So it's been a little bit after breakfast. It's around one. 130 sorry i was gonna say 126 but it's around 130 it's basically 126 um so i'm not hungry yet at all i'm not gonna have a snack to like around three o'clock maybe um but i need coffee because my kids were outside swimming i've been outside with them i was cleaning up it's laundry day i was just doing you know mom things around the house but i ran out of super coffee so i have some um i'm gonna have an iced coffee i have some ice right here in a cup and i had some leftover coffee that was been in my fridge in this container i'm just gonna pour it over here now i have y'all know i cut out like hidden sugars big time lately so i haven't had no like hidden sugars or sugar alcohols um i'm mainly trying to stay away from sugar alcohols like the hidden sugars yes i cut back a lot but i feel like you know sugar alcohols are kind of sawed my weight i was just having too much of it so i just cut back but i've been fine lately i haven't had them in forever i'm not having sugar alcohols but i am going to have the um jordan skinny syrup in my iced coffee i haven't had this in a while but with my iced coffee i used to have it all the time and it just hits that spot so jordan skinny syrups are great to flavor your coffee trust me i had them throughout my whole journey i just cut back recently because i was just having them way too much um but you can definitely flavor your coffees with these they are awesome they come in a whole variety of flavors if you've never heard of them i do have a discount code if you go to their website skinnymixes.com it's keto with sammy at checkout if y'all want to try them out if you never have before so they're great for iced coffee hot coffee anything they have like mixes like daiquiri flavors like they have all kinds of stuff so definitely look into them if you do want to give them a try i know summer is coming up and y'all want to have like some maybe some vodka and you can find some mixes that are like um fruity flavors and mix it and have a good drink for the summertime so they're awesome but 
I'm going in with this today because I miss it. This is the mocha freight flavor. Y'all know I am the biggest mocha fan. So I'm just going to put a splash in here. I don't put much. I just real quick. And it gives it that good mocha flavor. Because these boys, y'all, these boys. Oh, my God. I was like, I need coffee. We're, yes. I'll be right there, okay? So we about a couple hours into summer and <laughs> it's gonna be a struggle. <laughs> so I'm gonna sweeten with a little bit of stevia. The Jordan Skinny Syrups are already pretty sweet, so I just put very little. Then for my creamer, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a splash of some half and half. Before, you can also use heavy whipping cream, but heavy whipping cream has a bit more calories. So if you're watching your calorie intake, half and half is pretty good. It's only 10 calories less, but it adds up because what is it? So it's 40 calories for two tablespoons for half and half, and then one tablespoon is 50 calories for heavy cream. So there's a good difference there. But that's it. I am just going to be sipping on this iced coffee and get some more things done around the house. And you know, my kids are eating lunch right now. I gave them some watermelon. And I remember me being a kid, every time I would get out of the pool, I always craved a sandwich, right? So I made them some sandwiches. Remember my kids don't do keto, but I try to change up some things in their diet a bit. They had watermelon sandwiches and they had their little snacks on the side with some water and some meal drops. So I definitely change up little things, but they're kids. I let them be kids, right? And I was looking at their sandwich and I was like, that sounds good right now. <laughs> but let me let them enjoy that. But all right, guys, this is a great iced coffee, especially for summertime. So give it a try. Mm. I haven't had that mocha flavor in a long time. <laughs> Look, y'all, I got my new pans. I'm so excited because my other ones, I've had them a good while already. And they're good pans, but they're already starting to stick. So I needed to do a little update. This is by Kalfalin. I can never pronounce that brand. But this is a really good brand. I did order them off of Amazon. This was just like a simple, basic one, which I need because I go through pans like crazy. So I, I get expensive ones, of course, to last. But I try not to get nothing crazy, crazy because I'm going to go through them a lot. Y'all know I'm constantly cooking. There's Jinky. She's shaking over there. Y'all know I'm constantly cooking, so... Um, I got these off of Amazon like I said if y'all want to look into them I can link them below for y'all in the description. They are actually on sale right now I got them for $200. They're originally $250 and that is great for a 10 piece. They're non-stick um, Oh, this site is in Spanish. I was like, what does that say? <laughs> I couldn't read it. Okay, let's turn this around. So they're non-stick um, they have silicone handles, aluminum over oven safe for 400. It comes with the two pans, like a smaller one, a medium sized one, a bigger deep one, the two pots and then the, this is kind of like the set that I've got before, but a different brand. I really want to try this brand. My mom has this brand, I think, but hers are kind of more like expensive. Um, but I really want to try it. Her great thing. So yeah, if y'all want to look into it, I'll link them below for y'all, but I'm excited. I got to clean these up and get them put up and, it, and change out my other pens. Sorry, my kids are over there playing, but I got to change out my other pens and things like that. So it comes with the eight inch omelet pan, 10 inch, the one quart saucepan, two quart saucepan, three quart saute pan and cover, and then the six quart, um, stock pot and cover. So really good. Love it. All right, y'all, it's around three o'clock. It is snack time. Y'all, I was putting on my sheet to my bed because I'm doing laundry and I washed my sheets. But my bed, it's really a thick mattress. It's a queen size mattress. Then I have that topper that I bought a few videos back. So I hate sheets. Like I hate them because our bed is adjustable bin. So it always pops off or my husband always pops it off and it drove me crazy all the time. So I bought like a, off of Amazon, I bought a slip on sheet that will hold the mattress topper and my mattress together. And then it just zips up and you don't have like your sheets popping off because that stuff drives me nuts, right? But I love it because it holds everything together, it doesn't pop off, but it is a pain in the butt to put on by yourself. So picture me, I'm only 4'11", and I have a big queen mattress standing up in my room, and I'm trying to slip on the sheet while my mattress topper stays on there as well. So I was struggling for like a good 30 minutes in there, and I worked up an appetite, and I worked up a sweat. And my son's just looking at me just waiting for me to finish. I'm like, wow, no help. <laughs> but yeah, 
So I'm gonna have a quick snack. I wanted something nice and crunchy. In my pantry, I have these fat snacks, almond flour crackers in the cheddar flavor. They have original, they have cheddar, and then they have the um, everything bagel flavor. Those are the bomb as well. But um, yeah, they are two net carbs per serving. They're made of almond flour, like I said. They do sell these at, like, I seen them at HEB. I want it, I don't know if they have them at Walmart. Everybody Walmart varies, but I know for sure I've seen them at HEB or they have them on their website. Um, so a serving size is 17 crackers. So I'm just gonna eat a serving, 130 calories, two net carbs per serving, five grams of protein. So I'm gonna go in with this cause I just want something quick and easy today. And then right here I have my um, cream cheese that I had got from Aldi. This is the Happy Farms three times protein, just an original cream um, cheese spread. The last time, so I wanted to see how much actually this has protein. It has three grams of protein, so I don't know why it like says three times the protein. Maybe because it's Greek, Greek cream, I'm not sure. Because I wanted to compare it to the regular, let me get the regular cream cheese. Okay, so right here it says it's a Greek cream cheese. It has, it says three grams of protein per two tablespoons serving. Regular cream cheese has one gram of protein per two tablespoons serving. So it's just cream cheese, I don't know. It's a, it's a little bit thicker, but I mean, it's good. I just got it at Aldi because I wanted a cream cheese spread. So this is what I'm going to be snacking on for my little midday snack. I love it. Y'all need to give these a try. They are nice and crunchy. They are made with almond flour, but they have great flavor. Mm. Yes, my name is Sammy and I'm addicted to cream cheese. <laughs> oh. Let me know if y'all have ever tried these before. Which one is your favorite flavor? The cheddar is really good. But me personally, I love the everything bagel flavor. That one's like the bomb. But I think I ran out because I ate them all. <laughs> so this cheddar one would do. They're supposed to be like a cheese it I, don't know, I used to love cheese it So this definitely does the trick. They're not as crunchy as a cheese it of course. But they still have that slight crunch. And then they get softer. But they're really good. Look at Shady's new collar, y'all. Her little bow. I think the blue color looks pretty on her. It's her little bow right here. I need to get Linky one. I haven't found, I want a purple one, but I haven't found one I like for her yet. But she has her little bow right here. The blue looks so pretty against her black fur, her little tag. And Jinky got her pearls and the pink, so pretty. All right guys, it's around dinner time. It's already six, uh, it's around six o'clock. Not gonna lie, I've been here at the house just doing things, but I, have a bad headache i don't know why for the past three days my head has been hurting and the back of my neck hurts so i am munching on this little pickle so hopefully it takes away my headache and i did take some aleve say hi hi <laughs> he's always standing right here awkwardly <laughs> So I just point the camera at him, but we're about to get started on dinner today I'm going to be making some chicken alfredo over some broccoli and probably have a side salad. So let's get started Okay, y'all I chopped up two chicken breasts right here. I'm just gonna cube it up very simple and easy I am going to take my fresh broccoli and chop this up because it's just going to be like a bed We're gonna put the chicken and alfredo sauce over it simple right simple dinner tonight because I don't know what is up I keep getting headaches it is driving me insane. I'm thinking it was just because of the heat, but it's like pressure right here, pressure in the back of my neck. I drink tons of water. All day I'm drinking water. I eat. I don't know what's up. So I took some Aleve. Hopefully it goes away or something. I need something because these headaches are getting my nerves. <laughs> okay, so I have my flora to broccoli just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. We're gonna rinse it and we're gonna get started. I have some water heating through right here. I rinse my broccoli. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in. We're gonna get it nice and steamed so it's not all hard when we eat it. Put a lid on that and we're gonna get started cooking the chicken. Getting started on our chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some olive oil into a pan. And toss in my chicken breast. You can also use guys if you want to. I just like to use chicken breast. I'm gonna go ahead and season. So y'all know I like it spicy. I gotta have some red chili flakes with Alfredo, definitely. With any Italian food. We're gonna go in with some Italian seasoning. Measuring with my heart here. Some black pepper. Oh my God. 
Ooh. Oh my god, that was a little too much. It's okay. A little bit of garlic powder. And don't forget the salt. And we're just going to cut this till our chicken is cooked through. Very nice to cook through. It smells so good. I love to make me some chicken with Italian seasoning and red pepper flakes. It always hits the spot. Okay, once your chicken is cooked through, you're going to take it out, put it on a plate to the side. I went ahead and lowered my heat a bit to my pan. I'm going to add in two ounces of cream cheese. We're going to start making the Alfredo sauce. Go ahead and melt this down. You're going to get all that seasoning left over. For our Alfredo sauce, we're going in with some heavy whipping cream. I'm probably going to put about a cup and a half. Melt all that cream cheese in. And then you're just going to bring this to a simmer. It should just take a few minutes. Let's go ahead and season with a little bit more salt. I'm going to use the same seasonings that I put on my chicken. We're just going to add a little bit more salt, Italian seasoning. You can add whatever else you like. Some more red chili flakes. Garlic powder. And some pepper. Why do I keep going heavy on the pepper? I don't know. It just comes out. <laughs> okay, we're good on that. Once you have this simmering, we it's going to get nice and thick, but we're gonna go ahead and thin it out just a bit with some chicken broth. I just add in a splash, and you're gonna let it continue simmering. It may take a few minutes just to come to a thick consistency because we want our Alfredo sauce nice and thick. You don't want it all runny like this. Okay, after my sauce has reduced some, you can tell that it's getting nice and thick. I'm going to go in with some shredded Parmesan cheese, just a pinch. And it's going to further thicken it and give it that nice Parmesan flavor. This is a Parmesan cheese that I am using today. Go ahead and mix this in. Let it continue simmering. Now, if you like yours runny, go ahead and leave it runny. Just reach the consistency that you like. I think I'm going to leave mine here for about another two to three minutes, and then it should be done. After your sauce is done, we're going to go ahead and toss back in our chicken that we cooked up. Give it a nice stir. Maybe I made too much sauce for the chicken. <laughs> it's okay. We'll have some leftovers. It's fine. Maybe I can grill up some chicken tomorrow. Okay, so it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my heat and we're gonna pour this over my broccoli. Let's go ahead and start serving our plate. I have my broccoli right here. I did just put a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm just gonna lay a bed down of broccoli. I got my chicken and my Alfredo sauce. Put it right over this. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of that leftover sauce in the pan. Get our broccoli nice and saucy. And if you ever go to Olive Garden, you can ask for this option. If you are there, if you go out to eat, you can ask for some Alfredo over a bit of broccoli. Or I know they do have zoodles as well. That's just a, like a little to-go option. Finishing it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And that's it. I'm going to make a little Caesar side salad. For my side salad, I just went in with a little bit of romaine for my lettuce. I like my um, Caesar salad very simple with just some Parmesan cheese, some pepper, and then the dressing. I do have these Parmesan cheese crisps. Guys, don't judge my hands. I've been taking off my nails. I know they look all messed up. But um, I have these Parmesan cheese crisps that I did get from any grocery store. I got these at Walmart. They sell them in the salad aisles by the croutons. They're basically like a crouton replacement. Just made of cheese. They're nice and crispy that you could use in your salad. And they do have cheddar as well. But this is the Parmesan one.
My dressing is by Ken Steakhouse in their Creamy Caesar. Then a little bit of black pepper. I like pepper on my Caesar salad. And that's it. All right, y'all, last meal of the day going down. This was so simple to make. I feel like the simpler you keep your meals, you know, the, much, the more progress you'll make. Just something very simple and easy just to throw together. You don't have to overcomplicate things. This is probably one of my favorite meals. I used to love eating chicken alfredo. And I don't really miss the pasta. I think the broccoli does really good. They do have pasta replacements that you can buy on keto. But I feel like broccoli is just so much easier and cheaper just to throw it over with some chicken alfredo. So we're going to dig right in. Almost lost a piece of broccoli. Mm. This is so good. The chicken, the red pepper flakes with the spices. Mmm. And homemade alfredo sauce is so easy to make. Y'all saw. Heavy whipping cream is all it takes. Some cheese, some seasonings, and you have yourself a nice alfredo sauce. You can buy alfredo sauce in the jar because it is it is technically low carb, but it does have hidden um, things in there, you know, to thicken it up and stuff. So it's okay in moderation for like something very simple, quick and easy. If you don't want to make a homemade alfredo sauce, you can definitely buy a jar. Go in with some salad. Mmm. It's so good, girl. Yeah, I'll definitely give this a try. All right, y'all. I am done with dinner. It definitely hit that spot. But I'm about to end my night. I have a long day ahead of me tomorrow. And my husband gets here tonight. And I'm so excited to finally get to see him. So I'm definitely going to be waiting up for him. Because I know I'm not going to be able to sleep. But I really hope y'all enjoyed today's What I Eat in a Day video. And it just gives y'all some ideas on what to eat throughout y'all's keto journey. And thank y'all so so much for all the love that y'all showed me on my pictures throughout these 30 days. So if y'all missed it, we did do a 30 day challenge and that was my before and after pictures of the 30 day challenge. And that just shows you how much progress that you can make in literally 30 days. If you stick to it, if you stick to keto, you don't even have to exercise. I never exercised in the beginning of my journey, but this time around, of course, I have been exercising a lot. So that definitely helps. But 30 days of just eating keto, it makes a difference. So if y'all are up for another challenge, I will be posting the rules very soon. So y'all look out for that if y'all want to do another one or whoever didn't get to join in on the last one. Definitely join in on this one. I would love to see all y'all's results and y'all's progress over 30 days. But I hope y'all enjoyed this What I Eat In A Day video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto videos. And I will see y'all on the next one.